You're watching S'more RV Tours. All right, everybody, welcome back to a S'mores RV Tour. My name is Ryan. I'm with Campers in RV of Philadelphia. I'm located halfway between Allentown and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in Hatfield, PA, right on 309. So now I'm done with uh, who I am and where I'm from, let's talk about this. I've got a wonderful fifth wheel for you today. Who doesn't love a fifth wheel? Well, right now today, we have a wonderful Rockwood fifth wheel. This is a 2893 fifth wheel. And uh, I wanna start out here right in the very front, just like we do with our travel trailers. We gotta figure out how we get it on and off the truck. Well, this obviously with a fifth wheel, kinda gonna go into the back of the truck with a fifth wheel hitch. But one of the catches of having a fifth wheel is more often than not, you gotta have a long bed truck. Well, Rockwood has done something really special. They've actually uh, partnered up with Kurt and they are actually doing a turning point fifth wheel hitch. And the reason that this is special is, say you had a short bed or a regular bed truck and you just didn't have enough clearance, you'd have to get what's called a slider hitch that would allow the, the, the fifth wheel to sit a little bit further back into the, the, the truck bed. Well, this turning point hitch, it's actually gonna do something really cool for you. So instead of pivoting right here, this is where you would pivot if you just had a, a regular long bed truck you already set up for a fifth wheel, but say you had a regular bed or a short bed, you can actually take up underneath here, and we won't get too crazy in here, but there's a, there's a plate that sits right here and this plate you can put in and it'll actually lock this, uh, I'm sorry, it'll lock this pin in place right here. And now this whole hitch will rotate back and forth. So instead of the, the pin being here where it's got to rotate, now it's going to pin back here and it's going to rotate back and forth. So you can have a, uh, a regular truck, you don't have to have a big long truck to be able to use this wonderful fifth wheel. So if you take a look too, I got the docking lights on, just a beautiful front uh, fiberglass front. We have a crown fiberglass roof on this. Talking a little bit of uh, nuts and bolts, right? Let's talk a little nuts and bolts. So uh, bedroom's actually right in here. So we got 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood flooring. You have, uh, so just like your residential home, you have a six sided aluminum cage that includes the roof. So the roof is a fully walkable roof. When we slide along here as well, you have solar on the side. So again, you guys hear me say this, I hope I get that nice shady spot when I'm out camping. Well, shade doesn't do so good for solar. So by having solar on the side, you can run one of those briefcase panels out into the sunshine, and now you're, uh, now you're cooking. Uh, but the other thing is too, there's a 190 watt solar panel on the roof with a thousand watt inverter already installed. So if you are in the sunshine where you have it parked, it can maintain those batteries for you. So when you're ready to go, you can just hitch up and roll out. The other thing I wanna show you too, is while we're here along the side, you have laminated slides on this, but you also have slide toppers. So that shady spot we're talking about comes with pine needles, comes with acorns, leaves, all that kind of good stuff. Yes, there's a brush system up there and there's a gasket that will get most of that, but it doesn't get all of it. So, and the big thing is tree sap. So, hey, you get a little tree sap on there, bakes in the sun. Now, when you put your slide in, it's getting those seals all kind of gummy and your seals will fail. So by having the slide topper, now we're eliminating all that issue. So if you're a current camper and you don't have a slide topper, one of the best upgrades you could possibly do to your camper. If you're buying a new camper and it doesn't have a slide topper on there, consider getting one. They are wildly advantage. No, I'm sorry, they will give you a huge advantage uh, on maintaining your camping vehicle. So let's slide along here a little bit. Let's go down to the business side here on the driver's side. And uh, first things first, let's talk about some propane. It's gonna be set up with 30 gallon propane tanks. Uh, I'm sorry, 30 pound propane tanks. And you're gonna have two of them. There's one on each side. You're gonna run one at a time. So when this is empty, we'll turn this off. We'll go over to the other side, turn the other one on. Most campgrounds will have stations to fill up propane. I know we have a propane station fill here. Obviously not gonna be able to do like your Maragas or anything like that. You have to go to a real propane station, um, but it's the same thing with anybody's campers. Also, when we're talking about getting this on and off the truck, we need to talk about a leveling system. So when you're getting this off the truck, this is your electronic leveling system. So what you're gonna do is you're literally going to put this camper in the spot and take a look at these legs here. 
So we have these legs. This pin, you'll pull it out before you drop it off the truck and these tripod legs are gonna drop down. Don't worry about it clicking in the spot because what's gonna happen next is when we come up here, we can actually drop those legs up so it'll level out and it'll that pin will fall into one of the holes and locks into place. And again, this will fully level itself just like a high-end motor hole. Um, I definitely recommend uh, leveling twice. Level once before your slides are out, put your slides out, and just re-level just to make sure nothing has shifted, nothing has changed for you. The other thing is too, while we're here, this is something I haven't talked about with anybody here on YouTube quite yet, but if you all remember back in science class, uh, how does lightning strike? Lightning actually strikes up through the ground. And with these stabilizer jacks, remember now we put four metal pads on the ground. So put a piece of rubber between these pads or some snap pads down so that you're grounded. So that when lightning does strike, it doesn't disable your coach, okay? So again, not here to scare you guys. That's not what I'm here to do. I can see my camera lady going, oh my goodness. It's not that at all. It's just helping you to be a better camper. And that's what we're all about here at S'mores RV Tour. Let's come on back down here a little bit. So, magnetic hinges, so I don't have to clip anything up, it'll hang up here on its own. Again, for anybody that has your headphones on, slam latch luggage doors, be warned, closes just like your car doors. But we open this up, and this is where we can access into our uh, underbelly storage. It is fully uh, air conditioned and heated. Um, you can also see, it's a little dark in here, um, there is some lights, hang on, let's see if you probably mess your, your camera up, but um, you got light there, you got light there on the other side, but you have your whole house water filtration. You can see the aluminum framing. This is the same framing that they're gonna use on the exterior walls, your uh, flooring, your roof. Um, it's also in the dinettes and beds. This is a freestanding dinette, we'll see that inside. Obviously won't be any aluminum framing in a freestanding dinette, but if you did a booth dinette, Rockwood does that so there's no two by fours a crack splinter break over time. And then you have your wet bay here. This is again where you can control, you have like a little bit of an outdoor shower kind of thing. So messing with the sewer hoses and stuff, you know, business side, right? We get holding up that uh, slinky stinky or stinky slinky. You know what I mean? What do you want to do after that? You got to wash your hands. Well, right here, you got it available to you. And then you can feed everything down through here through this little pass-through. So again, those with headphones on, be warned, here, slam latch. There we go. Got a little more work light out here because again, when you get to the campsite early morning, late at night, boy, it's nice to have that extra light. I know I walk around with my little headlamp on, but uh, you know, all these little extra lights will certainly help you uh, with the function of your camper. This is actually a three, a three slide camper. So we saw one up in our main bedroom and then we have dual opposing slides in the rear of it. Wait till you get inside. It is so big, it is so roomy. Um, in fact, it's nicer than uh, most people's homes. So uh, it is truly a home away from home. That's on, come on back down here. This is just a breather for your uh, air conditioner, I'm not your air conditioner, your refrigerator. Not an outdoor kitchen. As cool as that would be, again, we're on the business side. Business side tends to be business, but they don't want to waste any space. And again, I am jam packed with inventory here right now. So you're going to see, I'm not going to be able to raise this up the whole way just because we're so close to another camper. But again, think of those hot dog forks, those brooms, the, you know, the outdoor carpets, great spot to keep all of this great stuff. Okay. And then one last thing here before we get to the uh, pleasure side. Uh, we come back here. This is a 50 amp coach because we have dual ACs on this. By having, the, let me get out of the way here. By having dual ACs, having a 50 amp coach uh, is gonna be able to service both of those. And if you're out boondocking, right, we know we got the uh, solar on there. It's gonna help recharge some stuff for us. Not gonna run the AC or microwave, but again, be able to run any of those 12 volt devices uh, till your battery runs out, obviously. Um, but you also have a holding tank here for fresh water. So if you're not using the city water connection, you can haul in your own water. So let's go over to the pleasure side next and uh, I'll show you some great stuff over that way. All right, you guys, we're on the pleasure side. My eyes are squinting, it's not a scowl, I can promise you that, it's just beautiful sunny out here. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's probably 85 degrees, it's beautiful, it's great camping weather. But hey, we're here on the pleasure side. So we started here at the rear of the coach. Again, three slides on this, dual opposing slides on the rear so you get this big open area. But I wanted to start here because we have this rail system. 
has a griddle system. So I run a little condiment table and a little graystone griddle out here. So again, you can be doing your favorite foods. Me, you know, I'm out camping. Get me some, uh, get me some pancakes for breakfast, maybe a little steak and egg, something like that. Everything works great on the griddle. You have outdoor speakers here that are tied into your indoor speakers. So again, you got uh, you know your favorite game on, you know uh, your favorite program. You don't want to sit in front of the TV. That's fine. You can actually hear it outside here. Or if you wanted to uh, have your TV out, I got a TV mount for you, so you can take it outside here and uh, mount it, and you're all set. Uh, you got a power and cable pass through here as well. So again, you know you're you're not missing out on any of that lap of luxury. Like think of, uh, I think this would be a great little tailgater. Wouldn't it be fun to take it to a game? So come on up this way. Again, we have uh, solid steps in this, and one here. Let me show you guys a cool little trick. So uh, they are fully strutted. Uh, I am not Hercules and I am not David Copperfield, uh, but it uh, shows you, hey, they're strutted. They're not going to slam down on your feet. They're not going to slam up in the air. I mean, it's literally uh, just that easy to get it up and down. And you got a nice grab handle for getting inside the coach. So again, just comfort. One little cool product I found the other day is there's these clips that will actually go onto these stairs as well. So if you like a full handrail, available for you too. Let's come on down this way. Again, we're not going to spend a whole lot more time out here because inside is going to be a lot more fun. But again, you got a direct, sp direct spark ignition water heater. So nobody's out here trying to light anything. You can actually do it right from inside. We got the other side of our pass through here. So again, you know, fully climate controlled, uh, nice, easy access. And then your propane here in the front as well. When we're looking at the windows, they are frameless windows. So the gaskets are hiding underneath the window. So you don't have to maintain those. They'll maintain themselves. And these windows, they open up like little gall wing doors. So you get a little bit of inclement weather. It's not a big deal unless the rain's coming up and sideways. It's not getting in your coach. And they use Asdale in these coaches anyways. The big product, the idea, I'm not big product. The big idea behind Asdale is it's hydrophobic. It just won't absorb water. So by it not absorbing water, it does give an opportunity for that water to seep in and cause delamination in the coach. Because again, we got these nice big walls here. The last thing you want is these ripples causing uh, some damage on your coach and making it look old. The other thing I want to show you too, is we got a full awning here on this side with LED lights. And just because we got a uh, slide here on the passenger side, doesn't mean you're not going to get an awning over there too. You have your slide topper, just like we did on the other ones. And then we got another awning right here available to us. So uh, everybody's going to be comfortable. Let's go on up inside. Let me show you all the goodies up in there. Can't wait to show you. So much room for activities, right? My goodness, I'm six foot three. I can't even touch these ceilings in here. So let's start out here in the dining room. So freestanding dining table. We get here, we have four chairs. We have uh, two stools here at the breakfast nook. But you know, if you need a little extra space, check this out. Table will extend. So you have that. When we're done, fold it, goes right away. Oops. Let's grab a chair. They're actually tied into the table right now. I should have uh, maybe untied them before I uh, started to, to shoot here. But I want to show you something. Engineered everything. If you want just a little bit extra storage space, you have it. You have it right there underneath your dinette chairs. They don't want to waste anything at all in this coach. So when we slide back here a little bit, we have our movie theater seating. We got there, they are full reclining. So again, perfect for that open mouth afternoon nap. There is full on lumbar support. So when I press this button in, it's actually got a, like a, almost like a balloon that fills up there in the back. Feels real nice. And inside here, we have two USB outlets and a uh, 120 volt, or I'm sorry, 110 volt outlet as well. So if you're that digital nomad and you want to sit here at the chair, relax, do a little bit of work, you have that available to you. Let's go next right over here. So we got a big sofa here in the rear. This is a uh, folding sofa, a hide a bed. So again, you bring guests along, we can fold this out and it'll make a queen bed. I have right now because we're, you know, kind of getting here towards uh, the evening. We got that magic light happening. You know, it doesn't work so great with the camera, but uh, it doesn't work so great in the campground either. I want to stay shaded. I don't want to necessarily have all this uh, sun coming on me. So we have these day night shades on here. So I got the day shades down now. When I pull this down, now I can black the whole coach out. And they use MCD shades. They're not the cheap knockoff. These are slow rise, uh, just top grade uh, shades that they're using in here. 
when we get over next door here, now we have a uh, little fireplace. So it's gonna run on electric, not propane. So think of that early spring, late fall. You just wanna take the little edge off because it's cold in the morning, but it's gonna be hot during the day. You can use that as like a little space heater. Or it's July and you just want a little ambiance. You're tired of getting eaten up by the bugs, mosquitoes. You want to come in and have a fire. You still have that. We we're talking about those outdoor speakers. They're tied in through this stereo system. You have indoor speakers here. You also will have some uh, outdoor speakers on that slide. And like I said, I don't, we, don't, uh, we don't waste space in this coach. So behind the television, again, all of this space here. Just like uh, our Rockwood Signatures. So think of like your games, those kinds of things, wonderful things to keep behind here. And this coach certainly doesn't lack for storage. We had some storage above the couch there where we were at, but check this out. Full pantry. Nice little oven here, so you wanna do that stove for lasagna. It's good there, it's available. You have a three burner cooktop. And I'm pretty sure I've told you guys this in the past, but if you're just running across this for the first time, I wanna give you the whole spiel. We get here, a lot of people think this is a vent behind here. This is actually a cutting block. So you don't have to let your knives all loosey goosey in the drawers. You can actually put them up here so it'll stay sharp and safe. Full microwave and uh, big fifth wheel, big refrigerator. That way, uh, if you did take a tailgate and you got enough space, if you did bring a bunch of guests along, you have a bunch of space as well. This is a propane electric. You have three options on refrigerators here from Rockwood in this fifth wheel. You have this dual refrigerator that is an absorption refrigerator, so the gas electric. You can also get a 12 volt refrigerator. And then they also make a single, like, or not single door, but a dual door uh, um, refrigerator as well, just like a regular standard 12 volt refrigerator. So let me get this closed up here for us. Again, wonderful little countertop here in the center. So, you know, those snacks, those games, those kinds of things, wonderful spot to do so. And while we're here, remember there's no vents on the floor. They have everything that pipes out here through the cabinets for heating. All the AC is gonna come out of the ceiling. So you bring that pet along, you bring your husband along and they're a little dirty. Stuff doesn't get down in the vents. You can just swiffer it right out. And then to the sink. They put the sink over here on this wall tell you what it's wonderful if you wanted to have a little coffee bar or something like that you have your drying racks here they come with dual you don't uh, you don't have to use them both but when you're not using them they just roll right up out of the way again we're in a rockwood so just really premium coach we got their solid surface countertops and solid hardwood cabinetry uh, if you come out and see me, uh, we can go into any rock wood. When you reach inside the cabinets, you can actually feel the grain of the wood in these. So, and then, hey, what do you do with your trash can? These guys actually gave you a little spot for it in that nice oven to be thinking of you. So, and one other thing, I'm sure we're going to have a lot of this in our B-roll, but it is just beautiful here through the center. So check this out. We have all these wonderful cafe lights. We have our air conditioner. And then, like I said, this, this ceiling is so high that we can have a ceiling fan. How nice. Let's go on up into the bedroom next and I can show you all the great things up there. All right, you guys, so we're heading up into the bedroom, but before we head up in there, let's look at the master panel real quick. This is how we're gonna control all three slides, how we're gonna control both awnings and all of our interior lights. Uh, exterior lights as well for like the awnings and steps and those kinds of things. But we also have a notice here for a TPMS. So this has a tire pressure monitoring system on the Goodyear tires that this coach comes with. So it's gonna give you the heat and the pressure of those tires at any given time. And I'll tell you what, if you were sitting out there underneath the awning and it got towards dark and you wanted to turn on the lights, if you have the IRV app, you can actually be doing that from your chair. You don't even have to stand up to do so. One last thing. We have this remote here. This is for your max air fan. Again, moves about 320 cubic feet per second. Gonna turn this cabin over twice per minute. And because it's so high up on the ceiling, they give you a remote so you don't have to be uh, the jolly green giant to be able to get up there. So let's go on into the bedroom. Hopefully I don't get anybody seasick or anything like that. But let's stop right here for just a moment. So we have our lights on, off. 
probably did come weird things to the camera. But everybody also always asks me, what is this? This is just a temperature sensor. It just allows for your air conditioners to marry back and forth so they're not competing to each other. Because again, remember, we have dual ACs. And while we're talking about the air conditioners, they are all vented here through the roof and they run through a foam block insulation. So I uh, think of like a, like a can koozie. It's gonna stop that can from kind of sweating. It's gonna stop your AC ducts from venting or from sweating and getting that drip, drip, drip down your AC. Because again, that roof's hot. Sometimes the interior is nice and cold well it's going to create condensation but by doing it in that foam block insulation it doesn't do that it's like a styrofoam cup keeps hot things hot and cold things cold so before we look at the bed we got a nice big dresser here so all kinds of space if you wanted to put a tv just on here you'd want to strap it down when you're not when you're in the traveling position or if you wanted to mount it it has a tv backer here with your cable satellite and um, <clears throat> power hook up here as well so let's go over to the bed. This is equipped with a queen size bed and I was talking about the aluminum framing. So uh, not only do we have the aluminum framing in the walls, ceiling and roof, we also have it in our beds. So check this out. Nothing to break down over time. This coach is designed to last a lifetime and it's strutted. So again, don't have to be Hercules to raise it up and down. And when you're done, you just push it down. It's good to go. You also have outlets here at both ends. So if anybody needs to charge their phone, needs to use a CPAP machine or anything like that. Uh, and again, you just have more storage here uh, on the front cap of the, of the coach as well. And you'll be able to see some of that in our beautiful B-roll. Let's go over to the bathroom so I can show you all the goodies in there as well. Scrub a dub dub. Let's get in this tub. Hey, you guys, I got uh, I got the shower miser system here. I want to talk about real quick. So, calling for hot water. We got there. We just started up our water heater. If we didn't have a shower miser system, we would be running all kinds of fresh water, waiting for that tank to get hot, waiting for that tank to get hot. Well, with the shower miser system, it, this pipe is normally really kind of like aqua blue. It's probably 120 degrees in this coach right now. So this pipe is starting to turn a little gray on us, but it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on. So when this, um, when, the, when the water gets hot, this pipe will turn from blue to gray. So it's starting to get gray right now. Once it's gray, you know, hey, it's good to go. You flip up the switch here. Now the circulator's off and you got hot water. So you didn't empty out your fresh water tank and you didn't fill up your gray water tank. One of the beautiful things about a Rockwood coach we also have a nice stainless steel sink bowl in here. We have a nice medicine cabinet. And then we also have porcelain toilets. So easy to clean, easy to maintain. And even though this Max Air fan is definitely within reach, they're giving you another remote just so that uh, it's as easy as pie to be able to turn it on while you're in here getting the shower, getting everything out. You'll get to see a little bit more of this in our B-roll, but again, there's a little more storage here around the corner. Bathroom, fully functional. Nobody, nobody's gonna be, it's not a knee knocker by any means when you get in here to use it. You know what I mean? Tons of room, uh, but you're not dedicating so much space to here that you're missing out on some of the camper. So let's go back down to the uh, living room. We'll talk one more minute and I'll let you go, okay? Thanks again for joining us again on another S'more RV tour. My name is Ryan with Campers Inn RV in Hatfield, Pennsylvania, located halfway between Philadelphia and Allentown. I want to thank you again. If you get a chance, like, subscribe, and send a comment below. We comment and we reply to just about everybody's comments because it's you that helps make all this happen. We certainly appreciate you. Cheers.
Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for s'more videos. They're coming soon.